All right, so today we're going to be talking about this little project. This is fairly simple. It's a fan on a mount. And what it's for is for blowing away soldering fumes. So this isn't a fume extractor. It's simply going to blow the fumes away from you so you don't breathe them in and doesn't get rid of them entirely, but uh, works well enough uh, for what I need anyway. And this is actually the fan from an Xbox 360. Uh, so it's got two fans kind of built onto one, and I made this 3D printed case for it, which uh, is blue and yellow, not, I definitely didn't rip that off of my soldering iron or anything like that, but um, anyhow, this has got just a 12 volt power supply, it's one of these sort of unregulated uh, transformer -y type ones that's probably seen uh, better days, but that's what I've got laying around here. It's, uh, it's gotten a little bit hot and it's passed apparently. It still works though. Maybe not necessarily safe to be using that, but uh, it'll be fine. So we've got that. We've got just a little switch down here, uh, on off switch. Whole thing can tilt. And this, I uh, just punched uh, hexagonal holes in it more or less so that it can uh, use less plastic during the print. And this fan shroud up here, the uh, print quality on it's not perfect. It's got a lot of little jagged edges on it. It actually did better than I expected it would uh, with my printer, but not perfect by any means, but it works. Now I will say, if you leave the uh, fan shroud off of the fan, uh, it does make a more directional stream of air. This tends to spread it out a little bit more. Uh, so, I mean, this is an optional thing. You could do it without the fan guard. Uh, it just depends on how much you trust yourself not to shove your fingers in it. <laughs> also, another thing with this, uh, you'll end up with a gap down here if you decide to make one of these. And I just shoved a piece of scrap 3D printed stuff in there and then hot glued over it to seal it. And then that makes sure that the air blows out instead of down, which is what it was doing in the first place. Um, the bottom, I just made some rubber feet out of hot glue, really quite easy to do actually, because what you do is just put a dot of hot glue on every corner, let it uh, kind of sit for a while, let it harden up a little bit, and then just stick it down lightly onto a flat surface. I think I used a sheet of glass. And then after it's kind of settled down, pull it back off, and then you'll be left with a nice little feet there. So it does uh, it stays down fairly okay. Hot glue is not the most rubbery surface that you can get, but still works. What I do want to point out is some of the things with printing this. First off, the knobs. Now with the combination of software I use, I use Fusion 360 to export STLs, and then I open those up with Repetier Host. Uh, I have to scale up all the objects by 25.4 in order for this to properly work. Um, otherwise, um, they're scaled way tiny, and it's, it's something to do with the conversions from inches to millimeters or something like that, and Repetier Host reads inches as millimeters, so I have to scale it up by 25.4 because it's 25.4 inches or millimeters in an inch. So that's just to get these to the proper size. Um, now these ones I had to scale down quite a bit because for some reason the threading uh, on this is like bigger than the threading in the hole, which doesn't make too much sense. But with my printer I had to scale this at like 20 and then I left these at the 25.4. Um, and then this, it all fits together fairly nicely. You got a hole in that which matches up with one of these rings on here so that it can freely spin in that. And then that ring just gives it some space between the uh, plastic and the actual knob itself. And then of course the last bit is the threads. And that just screws in like so, and then you can adjust the amount of tension on this for whatever your purpose is. You can, you can actually put these pretty tight and it'll still move, but it doesn't move easily and it won't like vibrate down. So I say that works fairly well. <clears throat> it's reasonably sturdy. I haven't, it's a little bit top heavy maybe, but the base seems to be wide enough to hold it up. So uh, anyhow, simple project. I'll 
I'll probably go ahead and put this stuff on Thingiverse so other people can print this, and I'll put that link in the description. So anyhow, that's it for now, guys. Bye. Thank you.